What's up, everybody? This is Angie, and um, this is like my first daily rant, only for the AngieLilaExperience.com. So I'm going to be doing these rants like every other day, every few days, whatever often I can do it, depending on my class schedule because I'm starting school. But um, it's going to be talking about whatever's going through my mind. You know, I'm not really in the internet gossip or whatever, but if I see something online that just irks my nerves, I'll talk about it. And, you know, my life in general. So it could be about anything at any given moment in my life. Um, first thing that pops up in my mind, um, the Lakers versus the Celtics. Lakers won. Woo, whatever. I'm not a really fan, big fan of either one of them. But I can like Kobe's arrogance. And I feel that if I don't know you and a lot of fans, because that's why a lot of people are Laker fans. They don't know you, but they can see that arrogance right through the screen. You're doing something wrong. Like, nobody ever talked about Michael Jordan like they did him. You know what I'm saying? Like, Michael Jordan was always put up on the pedestal. People that didn't like Michael Jordan respected him as a as a player, you know, respected him as an athlete. And, you know, they would buy his, you know, buy the Wheaties for him and Gatorade and Hanes and Jordans and stuff. Won't be Bryant. Like, nobody cares about him like that. Like, he's a great player, but that's it. You don't leave, like, his legacy to me is never going to be like, oh, he inspired me to do great things because I don't like his attitude. Then he brought up Shaq at a press conference. Like, basically, this win individually means that he has one more than Shaq. Are you serious? Are we going to be that petty? Like, that is so petty to me, and I just want to give him, like, a pow. Like, I just like that. Just do it again. Pow. Like, for real? Like, we really going to be that petty? Just in your face. Like, in your face, Kobe. Get out of here with that. 2010, the year of no pettiness. My girl Jew was always saying that. No pettiness. Get that out of here. That hurts my nerves. Ron Artest is crazy, but I respect his realness. For saying thank you to the psychiatrist and stuff, I respect the realness. I mean, somebody... That obviously was a media train when he did that interview and he just said what came to his mind. I love that. You know, I love being real. Being real goes wrong was when he did the whole shout out, the champion single thing he's coming out with. Athletes shouldn't rap. I really feel like they can't rap. I really, like, I think they see the luxurious lifestyle rappers off the TV and they're like, oh, we already have that. I can relate to the rappers, so I'm going to rap like them. No, please don't. Kobe couldn't do it. Shaq couldn't do it. AI couldn't do it. Ron Artest, you definitely can't. So, Nah, that's a, that's a no-no. No, 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 no. I don't like that sick girl. It looks kind of crazy, but that's supposed to be like the no, no, no sign. <laughs> but yeah, I'm just playing around with my, uh, my, uh, webcam now. So I'm trying this out too. So all the little icons stuff are kind of cute. But yeah, um, those two things were kind of like irking me yesterday when I was watching. Well, not look, last night into this morning. It's kind of like, wow, okay. But, um, personally... I'm doing a lot of things. Got the site coming up in July, as I said before. Um, going back to school in July, majoring in marketing. Now, marketing is something I'm. I like, you know, it's something I want to do because I love figuring out strategies and ways to, you know, present my, you know, whatever my product is or whether there's a person thing, etc., to the public and finding out different goals and different thinking ideas and strategies and patterns, but. Marketing is just something, like, I'm getting a degree in it, so I can have something to fall back on. My first passion, you know, I love entertainment. At first, I wanted to just do strictly PR, be behind the scenes, and, like, promote artists and stuff. But I love doing this whole um, blogging thing. I think I'm pretty good at just talking about anything. I tell everybody I can talk about pace and make it interesting. So I would like to be a talk show host of some sort. I don't know, radio maybe, but I just... I wish, like, my internet talk show, that would be hot. Like, the first internet talk show, like, where you just can only tune online. And I had, like, a million viewers, like, online only. Like, that's, like, my ultimate goal to have, like, the first huge internet talk show. Because as much as I love TV, it's fading slowly but surely. Everything's going online. Like, MTV doesn't even, don't even show videos anymore. BC doesn't even show videos anymore. All they do is show, you know, reality shows. And I'm like, I can't do a reality show because of the stigma attached, they have to do something really special for me to even consider that if I ever got to that point in my life. But yeah, like an internet TV show, that's, I'm going to figure out a way to get that popping because that'd be hot to me. That's like my next goal. Um, internet talk show, I mean, and I'm live and everything, just like a regular TV show, not recorded on YouTube or anything live. I'm just, it's a, it's a gotta be way. I've never seen it really done on a grand scale, so I want to be the first to do it. I believe you can put in, do anything to set your mind to. Nobody can limit me. You know, this, I say this is the only box you're going to see me in this TV screen right now because as far as my dreams and goals and aspirations, sky's the limit for me. And I've let a lot of stupid things mess up my, my mental 
especially dudes in particular. This one dude I always bring up on all my shows, like, he just, I didn't even like him that much. That was a crazy thing. I wasn't even in, like, love or in, like, I just, he was right near me. He lives right by me, so it was, like, a distraction, you know, and I can't have distractions anymore. I got to keep my eyes focused, tunnel vision, and I just see so much happening for me, and thank you guys for your support. We got a lot of love for everything. I'm trying to do the Twitter jockey thing on MTV, so nominate me, Twitter... I mean Twitter, tj.mtv.com as the next Twitter jockey. My Twitter name is at Angie Lala. Trying to do that. Um, yeah, just keep this, promote this site. When it launches, blow up. And just become something bigger than I could even expect. And so it could help me, the magazine, the magazine I'm working on. I have the name, but I don't want to say it just yet. But the magazine is going to be amazing. It's going to tie in everything you're not getting from different magazines that are out right now. It's going to be online, too. Everything I'm doing is online-based. I hope you know that. Online is the next thing, so I'm going to capitalize on this Internet thing for as long as I can. I mean, if TV and print want to do it, too, want to join in on the ride with me, that's great, but online is what I'm focusing on. So I need you guys, everybody that watches YouTube, my Ustream, my blog talk, I need y'all to tell your friends and your friends' friends about me. Just, you know, let them know what it is. This is that Angie Lala experience, baby. It's nobody like me. I wish I had my ring right now, my Angie Lala ring. It's on, like, a lot of my pictures and stuff. Like, that's something that's just all me. You know, it's fun. It's cute, you know. it's My name is Angela, so it's got me in it. You know, my best friend used to call me that. And I just ran with it. And I just think it's, you know, it's cool. Um, I was at a comedy show last week with my best friend. Two of my girls, Devin and Nika, it was like my sisters. They came up to, for my birthday a few weeks late. But, yeah, and I was at a comedy show, and the girl was like, we were sitting right in the front. So we were the only black people in the front. So we getting targeted. It's mostly white people in this comedy show. And the comedians were amazing. There was this lady, she, really pretty lady. She was a host on um, Comedy Central. I forget her name. But she saw my ring, and she thought it said Angelina. I'm like, it says Angie Lala. She's like, oh, wow. She's like, yeah, you're going to regret that you got that in three years. It's going to be funny. And I'm like, no, I'm not. Like, I really wish you knew. You're going to hear the name Angie Lala in three years. You're going to be like, oh, my God, that's her. That name really did do something for her. You're going to be shocked, you know. So I don't let anybody's critiques, criticisms, you know, affect me at all, you know. I think it's funny. You had a comedy show, laugh it up. But, yeah, that name means something to me. That's my best friend. I think it defines what I'm doing right now. It's me, but it's fun. I'm having fun with life. You know, my, my show is fun. We have serious topics, too. But, you know, it's entertaining and insightful. That's what I like to say. So, you know, and I'm not feeding into celebrity gossip and all that stuff. So we might talk about a few things here and there, but it's going to be on a grand scale thing. So if we talk about Amber Rose and Kanye, we're going to be talking about should women date men with money for exposure or something like that. It's not just going to be about them. So or if we talk about casting the older men, younger women relationships, are, are they practical? Like we talk about things like that, you know, or Usher and Tamika, younger men, older women relationships. We're going to like, it's going to go so much deeper than what you see on the papers and in the blog. So definitely, definitely rock with me because I have so many things planned. And this is, like I said, this is only the beginning. My daily rant, rant about any and everything. So if I go off topic, that's the whole point, it's a rant, you know. But, yeah, let me know, comments, suggestions, ideas on anything you want me to talk about. Hit me up, Angie at the AngieLala Experience.com, Twitter.com slash AngieLala, and Twitter.com slash AngieLala EXP. Love y'all so much. Till next time.